Hey reader friends, I have another book for you today and this one is a nonfiction book about safety. In fact, the title is What Does It Mean to Be Safe? The author's name is Raina Diorio and the illustrator's name is Sandra Salisbury. Something fun that I want you to watch for. See this little turtle? I think if you look, you'll find him in nearly every single page of the book. I've noticed that when I was reading that he crops up in a lot of funny little places. So watch for him, okay? Here we go. Oh, let's see. We've got information here. We've got dedications from the author and illustrator to people that they care about. And we've got a copyright date of 2011, so this book is 10 years old. And let's see, the publisher is Little Pickle Press. All right, what does it mean to be safe? There's our turtle friend. What does it mean to be safe? Oh, here comes a baseball. Uh-oh, does it mean beating a throw to home plate? No, that's not what the author means. That does mean you're safe though, doesn't it? It's just not what she means. Does it mean betting on a sure thing? Oh, who do you think would win the race between these two? Probably the boy. But that kind of safe is not what the author's talking about either. Does it mean locking yourself up? No. That would be safe, but that's not what the author means either. Being safe means feeling secure in your environment, feeling protected from danger. That's a good feeling to be safe, isn't it? It means looking both ways before you cross a street or a parking lot. Yeah, you don't just run out in the street to get the ball, do you? Gotta make sure there's no cars coming. It means fastening your seatbelt. That's a very important way to stay safe when you're traveling. There's our little turtle guy. Are you looking for him each page? It means using the buddy system when you swim or hike. Being aware of your limits and honoring them. Oh, the kids are trying to decide which trail to take. This one says beginners, and that's a three mile trail. Mile trail. You go this way. The expert trail is eight miles, but look how steep it is. Whew. Yeah, being safe means taking the trail that you know you can make it on, right? Yeah. Being safe means respecting the power of things that could harm you. If it's too dangerous, you know not to try it. You know to wait until you're bigger or stronger. Being safe means knowing how to respond to emergencies. The boys need help, but would it be safe for these boys to swim out to them? Or would it be safer to go get a grown-up? Yeah, sometimes it's hard to know what to do, isn't it? Being safe means not tolerating bullying. Oh, see, he's bullying the girl, and the younger guy is saying, Stop, we're not going to bully. That's not right. Not giving in to peer pressure. Oh, sometimes people may call out to you and say, Come on, come on, try, don't be a baby. But sometimes you have to stand up for yourself and say, nope, I'm not going to try that today. Maybe another time. Being safe means looking out for each other. Oh, the bus is getting ready to go, but he realizes that his friend dropped something. He's saying, wait, guys, we need to wait for him. Make sure he's on the bus, too. Being safe means learning what your rights are and making sure they are respected. This lady travels in a wheelchair, so she has to use a special ramp. 
It's good that this bus has a ramp for her so she can go too. Being safe means listening to your inner voice. All right, what's going on here? Oh, these guys are marking on that sign. That's the sign to tell when the bus comes. That's important for people to be able to see. And he's trying to get these kids to draw on the sign too. But look at their faces. I think they know that that's the wrong thing to do. That's listening to your inner voice. Being safe means choosing your own beliefs and being accepted for who you are. That's really something important that we're thinking about this week since it's Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday. Because we have different skin color, because we have different ideas about the teams that are our favorites or colors that are our favorites or things that we like to eat that are different doesn't mean that we can't still be friends with each other and get along. We have to accept each other and know that they have different opinions than us, maybe. That's okay. We can still be friends. Being safe means not revealing your private information about yourself to strangers. Oh, that's a good thing to remember when we're online. We don't tell our real names, our ages. We don't tell where we go to school. We don't tell where we live. That's private information that we keep to ourselves. Keep us safe. And if we're online, being safe means telling an adult you trust when you feel uneasy. If something's going on on your computer and you're thinking, oh, that doesn't look right. Or, gross, that's nasty. Or, oh, that's kind of scary. It's important to tell a grown-up that you love and trust. Get some help. Being safe means realizing that you are the single best person to protect your precious self. Now, yeah, you've got instincts. You've got a good brain. You've got a good heart. To help you know when things are right and wrong. To help you know when things are scary or when things are just a good challenge that you can handle. You have to trust your instincts to know how to keep yourself safe. And sometimes reach out to a grown-up if you're not sure. Because you're still learning. So, tell your friends what it means to be safe. And spread the word. Because when we're all safe, our world is more peaceful and joyful. All right. That was a good book, important for all of us, because we all want to stay safe, don't we? All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that one.